It's that time of the week again where Ducascopy TV collaborates with Swiss financial newspaper La Jeffy. This week, Nicolette de Jonquer talks to Matthias Egger from Mirabu. Swiss small and mid caps are tremendous value for the investor. Matthias Egger, who runs the Mirabeau Swiss Small and Mid Cap Fund, is here with us today to explain how much value there is in this investment. Matthias, thank you for joining us in the studio. Hello, Nicolette. Thank you very much for inviting me into the studio. Um, can you explain what is the strength of the Swiss Small and Mid Caps? Well, in the last 15 years, Swiss small and mid-caps have returned 450%. This is a return which is, among other equity indices, one of the best returns you can have had in the last 15 years. There were just a few emerging market index returning more than Swiss small and mid-caps. In US dollar terms, the 450% return can be explained by the strength of the Swiss franc against uh, the other currencies. We have an excellent government situation. We have just 40% debt as percentage of GDP, and we have a budget surplus. So the Swiss franc is regarded as a safe haven currency, which have increased the value of the Swiss francs against other currencies. Furthermore, Swiss small mid-caps enjoy excellent positions in their niches. Uh, best example is Gebrit. Gebrit has been introduced to the Swiss market in 1999 at a price of 40 Swiss francs. Now we are talking about 200 Swiss francs in the share price and the revenues of the companies have risen from 600 million to 2.5 billion. Gebrit is the global leader for sanitary technology. Not a very attractive industry, but where they are very strong in their industry. Well, any, any industry that uh, returns so much is very attractive. What is your process? Swiss small and mid caps have around 200 companies. Out of these 200 companies, we can only invest in around 100 companies. The reason is that there are some companies which have not enough liquidity and which are below 100 million market cap. We, have, we run a fund where we have to provide daily liquidity. This means we have to invest in liquid assets. Hence, we have to reduce our investment universe by around 100 companies. So we, we, we watch around 100 companies very closely. We held 150 management meetings every year to be as close as possible to the company and to be ahead of any information should something happen to the company and react in the market. This has made us very successful. This year, we have realized with our portfolio, which consists around 35 stocks with different weightings, our high conviction buys are around five stocks. We overweight 3% over the benchmark. We have realized with a portfolio of 35 stocks an outperformance of roughly 3.5% over the benchmark. As of today, we stand around 13% year to day, which is, uh, compared to the benchmark, very favorable. What, what are your favorite companies? What, what, what is your, which ones are you overweighting at the moment? Well, you're talking about the high conviction buys that we hold in our portfolio. That's Actually, right. we hold pretty boring high conviction buy. One is Implenia. Implenia, a Swiss construction company, uh, enjoys a very solid construction infrastructure currently in Switzerland. If you want to construct something, you have to wait these days that you have your contractor coming to build your house. The reason is there is a very solid demand for construction activity and the margins are going up. Their contracting business is doing extremely well and we see the margins going up so that they realize extremely good profits at the moment. The share price has increased by 70% and the company is immune against any situation in the Eurozone. Any other suggestion? Well, uh, we also hold as one uh, high conviction by Flughafen Zurich. Flughafen Zurich benefits from rising rates for airline related activities, from rising spend per passengers, and also uh, they benefit now from a project that will be built by 2018 called the Circle Project that will be built by 2018 and will add 50 Swiss francs to the value of the shares. Another stock we invest as a high conviction buy is Austro Microsystem. The company enjoys from very strong demand for tablets and smartphones. They provide the content of roughly one to two US dollar per each tablet and smartphone, and they provide analog semiconductors. So they benefit from this structural change in the market that everybody wants to have a smartphone and tablet. And the stock has returned 150% this year. This was one of our top performers within the fund. You're very positive about the impact of the 
OPEC strategy by the SNB. Last year, when the euro was falling to one Swiss franc against the Swiss franc, it was absolutely necessary that the National Bank was introducing this PEC. The fall and the, or let's say the strength of the Swiss franc within a very short period of time was a big problem for many companies in the Swiss market. In particular for the companies that run 40 to 50 percent of the costs in Swiss francs and just realize a few percentage of revenues in Swiss francs. So this, the, this is the currency mismatch. For these companies it had been a very strong pain as they cannot react in such a short period of time to such a strong devaluation of the major currency euro where they realize sales. So 120 is a level that the Swiss industry has started to live with which does not cause any particular problem and I think Swiss National Bank has to continue to buy at this level so that they can hold it. But it seems that the situation now starts to improve. We have seen the euro climbing now to 121. I hope that the Swiss National Bank starts to take some profits now already and get out and unwind this 450 billion euro position. Matthias, thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you, Nicolette. It was a pleasure to be here. Thanks very much, Nicolette. Next week, she'll be joined in the studio by a representative from Commerzbank. For now, though, goodbye. <laughs>